The paleography of numero indorum begins with a zero. The first digit with a single angle. The second digit with two angles. The third digit with three angles. The fourth digit with four angles in the shape of a cross. But how to use the small abacus of Al-Khwarizmi? Each bead on the upper deck has a value of 10, 10, 10. While each bead on the lower deck has value of 5, 5, 5. This bead has a value of 5. This bead also has the base value of 5, but a line slanting upward has been added. And this bead with a base value of 5 has been modified by adding two lines slanting upwards. This bead has a value of 10. These beads also have the value of 10, but this value can be decreased by the addition of a downward slanting line. This bead represents the value of 10, but with that value decreased by the addition of two lines slanting downwards. The writing of the digit 5 is begun by drawing the beam of the abacus, followed by the drawing of the rod descending to the bead. The digit is then terminated by partially circling the bead itself, which has the value of 5. The digit 6 is begun by circling a bead with a value of 5, and adding an upward slanting line. The digit of 7 is written by first drawing the beam of the abacus and then adding a line slanting downwards to the bead. Initially this line followed the outline of the bead, but with time a modification led to the use of a line, tangential to the bead, slanting up to cut the original ascending line. This is the way the digit of 10 is written. It is written by circling a bead with a value of 10. This is the way the digit 9 is written. The first step is the circling of a bead with the value of 10, while the addition of a line slanting downwards indicates a reduction in that value. This is the way the digit 8 is written. One begins by circling a bead with the value of 10. Then two downward slanting lines are added, reducing the value to 8. The digit is completed by joining the lower ends of the two lines.